What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the show. Welcome back to Shoot the Shit. I'm your host, Anthony, here on the Knights of Four. And today we got a, a returning guest that you've you've met a few weeks ago. Um, right here on the channel on the Mindless Horror Podcast. My good friend, Betty Boop. How you doing? I am great. All right, that's, that's all that matters is, is we're still getting around and... Uh, for a while. <laughs> yeah. Um. So yeah, another fun fact: another member of the exclusive movie club um, that we were talking about when Oingo was on the show. And yeah, and actually, we have two members on the movie club here. Lilith is the honorary fifth member. Not a lot of people know that. Like Lilith, right now, she's re- she's reviewing movies right now. You guys just don't know. <laughs> the best. Uh, how you how you doing overall though? You doing good? I'm good. Tired. I the feel weather that. has me all messed up today. Yeah. No, no, no I feel that. Hundred percent. Um what about uh what was I gonna say? You looking forward to Han auditions in a few weeks? I am. I'm not prepared, <laughs> but I'm looking forward to it. Doing what I can. When he can, right? It, it's it's one of those things where uh, I've been hearing people leading up to it. Some are nervous, some are whatever's about it. Some just just want it over with. Um, were you looking to try to get back? You trying to go back to Goring again? I would like to go back to Goring, but I at the moment I don't think I'll fit into my my costume because there was no zipper in it. So. I'm hey, trying to, listen. Trying to crank in as much gym time as I can with my comadre starting Tuesdays and Wednesdays. I can hear so, Ongo in the background. What is yeah, he doing? I think he's, I think he's, what, I think he's on TikTok. TikTok. <laughs> Tell me he's a loser. Ongo. Why? You're a loser. You're right. <laughs> uh you right <laughs> that's cool now I, I you know what's funny is i actually just found out i lost a ton of weight without even trying to lose weight i was i think the heaviest i've ever been in my life was 320 i am down to 290 now Goals. I just, I wasn't even, uh, you know, I wasn't even trying. Like, I I just, I guess, I I mean, I don't eat a lot. And I'm constantly, in a way, working out at at work to the point where I'm just like, you know, I I, I guess I'm losing weight because I'm I'm carrying shit and I'm, you know, fucking exercising on a daily. I I guess it just happened to be working out. So now I'm just trying to get down to 275. be the thinnest I've ever been back especially you as, can do it especially yeah especially with how tall I am I'm trying to just be at a good at a good height to height to weight ratio <laughs> if you will but no it's it's so I know I know how that's like and I don't know how it's like only because I haven't been trying to lose weight but I guess it's been happening so I might as well just keep going so yeah it's just uh it's been you know, it's been kind of kind of weird though because like I've been dropping all this weight and I'm just like I hope uh, there's nothing wrong with me physically. So we'll see. Maybe I gotta go to a doctor. Should always go to a doctor just in case. Yeah, for real. Um, we just saw Jurassic World Dominion recently. We did. And at least in my eyes, the movie was garbage. I could see where. You would say that, but <laughs> I feel like I was telling Oingo, I have a different perspective as a mother, seeing as the route they went. Was it my favorite? No. Did I like it though? Yeah. I got to see my brontosauruses. None of them were left behind on an island in fire. So there was that. <laughs> Just throwing so much shade at Fallen Kingdom, huh? I was in tears, and Oingo looked over at me and saw that I was crying <laughs> over the brontosaurus. Yeah. Uh, no, I think I, 
that I don't know. It's just there was things in the movie that were cool, but like overall, I just I don't know. I, I just expected more for a, a conclusion of a saga, and it was like for me, they just kind of hurried up and forked out a script, and then they were like, "The name will sell tickets alone. We we don't care how the story is," and it it's like kind of disappointing when you see that because. You know, I have a lot of love for this franchise as at all, and then just seeing how it ended, I was like, oh, man, like, I kind of wanted, like, there was so much opportunity. You had the old cast, you had the new cast, you know, you had this kind of new era of dinosaurs, and there was so much to work with, and it just felt like they came up short on it, so I was just like, hmm. Yeah. Wasn't a big fan of it, but what are you going to do? Just don't make another one, please, Universal. <laughs> and most importantly, don't do a Fast and Furious and Jurassic World crossover. Please don't. Just don't. The fact that that idea has always been on the idea on the idea list. I'm like, whose bright idea was like, hey, let's fucking take fast cars and giant dinosaurs and let's cross them over. And it's like, let's not. Yeah, right, Lilith. Tell them. Is, is that funny? Is that a funny, funny idea? Yeah. Yeah. yeah see. It's dumb, isn't it, Lilith? Yes. Lilith, Lilith is like, I can I can create a better movie than that. And I, and I 100% have a, a lot of faith in that she can do that. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah. yeah, that's funny. Didn't you guys just recently take a trip to Soak City? We did. Uh, yes, how is that? Yeah. How, how, how is Soak City in a post-COVID world? I have not been to any water park since... Very packed. We we left. It opens at ten. We were in the parking lot at nine thirty. Oh, Any uh, what? What mean? For like two hours. Is, is it? Is they, have they added anything new to that park, or is it still the same old stuff? I don't know, cause last year we only went to take this child. child. And prior to that, I don't remember what it was like before, cause I. Before last year, the last time I went, I was like 14. <laughs> so I don't remember. Shit, I haven't been there since I worked at Knott's in 2016. And that was for my my sister was having her birthday party there. And I was working. So I, after work, I just literally walked over to Soak City and just got in for free. No problem. So... And then they're yeah. like, "Hey, we got a we got a food area here. You can go in the back if you want and, and get some food and and uh, pay a cheaper price." And I'm like, "Eh." I was so tired that day. I just I didn't even care. I was like, "No, nah, I'm just gonna go lay in the lazy river and die." So I got a pretty sick sunburn though, even though I put sunscreen on. Nice. <laughs> you gotta love the sunburns. Waking up in the middle of the night, just oh. Oh, it's not that bad. No. Okay. Well, that's good. I've had some rooms that bad. I'm just like, I hate my life. Why did I go to this place with all these people? Like, I do not like being sunburned. I won't go. So that's funny. That's funny thing about me is I, I'll go swimming. I love swimming. I just, I won't, I, 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 I won't go to the beach anymore. And that's because I've seen Jaws wait one too many times. And no. I don't need a great white popping out of the water and trying to kill me or bite off a leg or a limb or something. God, just my luck, though, too. Just my luck, though. I mean, it, it's, it's it's the one time they don't probably have to often, but then when when I come out into the water, it's just going to be my luck. The great white just happens to be there, and I've seen how this movie ends. So you, you wouldn't go in those cages in the middle of the ocean with sharks? No. Oh, hell no. Especially that, no. I don't even trust those cages, man. I think those sharks can bite right through them. Nah, that's that's uh. By the sound of it, it sounds like you would though. Eh. I've been scuba diving, so what's next? Damn! Look at you with your adventurous life. Well, I was in seventh grade for Catalina, so it wasn't super intense. It's the fucking Catalina wine mixer. <laughs> uh, I don't even think I would I wouldn't even skydive either I, I, I'm like fuck that 
you know, I want to go skydiving. Oh, you're nuts. <laughs> Jump what? out of an airplane? Hell yeah. Nah, I've, uh, that's going to end one of two ways for me, too. Uh, the, the, for my luck, the fucking shoot won't open. And I think Final I always think the worst. Over here. Yeah, I, think, you know, I think I'm just always thinking of the worst scenario possible. <laughs> But I don't know. I, just, I don't see myself jumping out of a freaking airplane and, and my luck, something bad happens. There's just so much to, there's so much out there that I don't know. Maybe I just, one day I'll just say fuck it and become an adrenaline junkie. The next Tom Cruise in cinema, if you will. Start off small, pierce your nose like I did. I've gotten a tattoo. That's. I've gotten like four tattoos. I pierced my septum myself, though. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, if I do it myself, it'll be a bloody mess. My mom helped. I told her to push the needle through, and she said, What? <laughs> you know who does that all the time, and it, it, it just weirds me out because she constantly like wants me to, like, she always comes up to me and she's like, Tug it. I'm like, No! She fights fucking loony. She puts her damn the bobby pin through her nose, and then she's like, tug it. I'm like, no. Then she won't leave me alone until she's like, tug no, I'm not going to tug it. It probably doesn't hurt you, but in my head it hurts you. How does it hurt? There's your new gimmick right there. There's your new hot gimmick. Tell him, Lilith. She's watching me. Mickey Mouse videos. Hell yeah, bro. Mickey Mouse is Mickey Mouse is the legend. The mouse owns the house. That's her phrase of the week. That's funny. It's funny. It's funny. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, she getting in a blanket all snuggled up. Yes, she's we tired, just, but... We can just do a whole show just watching Lilith do, you know, and guarantee you. <laughs> if I put in the title, Shoot the Shit with Betty Boop featuring Lilith, this video goes viral. 100%. 100%. Hey, Thor tickets are on sale today. I, I know that. And there's so many different options as to where I want to go and how I want to watch it. <laughs> they got, they got the obviously they got the standard preview night showings, but the one that caught my interest is the fucking marathon that starts at 5:30 in the morning. I noticed that you shared that in our movie. I was like, mm, Thor, Thor to Dark World, Thor Ragnarok, then Thor Love and Thunder. I've done it before with a lot more. I think I could do it with this one. Question is, do I want to wake up at five in the morning just to get to the theater? <laughs> it's okay. We could fall asleep during Thor two, and then you know, there's your nap period, and then Thor Ragnarok comes. Why is my mom calling me? I'm gonna take a call. The first time ever on shoot the shit, I'm taking a live phone call, a live Facetime. Can I help you? Yeah. Look at. Hi. <laughs> What's up? Oh, I just want to tell you I tested negative today. Yay! No more COVID. <laughs> Good. Let's say yay. Yay! Clean. Yay. Lilith, little Lilith, her her daughter said yay. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> That's I'm good. Going to work Boo. I'm going to, I'm going to Universal on Saturday, so if you want to go. Oh, well. It's your loss. Alright. Alright. Bye. So, mom is code free for all those who are wondering. So, that's cool. I think I kind of am in the area, too, where I'm just like, if I get COVID, that'd be kind of a blessing for me because I don't have to go to work. But it would hold back a lot of plans that I have. And I'm just like, I... Kind of caught in a, a rock in a hard place right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
Rachel. Well, they just came out saying that Phyllis is eligible to get her vaccines at the end of the month. So, Mom. fingers crossed. Is she getting the vaccine? I would like for her to. I will allow my daughter to be a test. I can't say. Lingo, no one asked you. <laughs> Loser. <laughs> Anybody knows me uh, that they should know by now that I just love talking shit to Oingo and it's so fun. Um, it's and it's too easy sometimes too. Hi. Um, but just let him know that you know he's not going to back to Borok. They're gonna shove his ass back in Origins. I think he'd be pretty sad if that happened. What's the sad reality? Shove you back in Origins. I'd be upset if they shoved me back into Dark Entities. Oh, we're putting them back in Dark Entities then. Just so we could fuck with them. For I, will shame. Wa- I will walk through that maze all night just so I could fuck with them. <laughs> and the reason why I can do that, because that maze never has any lines. So, you know, just... All right, get out. Let's go again. Well, my first maze doesn't what? exist anymore, so they'd have to send my ass back to Pumpkin. <laughs> you might... Hey... You might be closing out that maze probably too. How how would you now would you go back to close it out? Would you you think you could you do that or if it was the last year this year and they put you there, would you be like, Oh, this is kind of memories because of where I was when when I did this maze in life. I mean, I wouldn't object to wherever they put me, but I'd rather not go back to pumpkin eater. I did like having my prosthetic, my face, pumpkin carved face prosthetic. That was fun. Yeah. Is is the end game to um, hopefully one day scare as a family? Yes. That's real life parent 100%. goals. You don't you don't hear that from most parents. That's some parent goals right there. Shit, I, I think know, you Carnival, I know what happened in Carnival is... Was it Boots? I know. What? Did Boots scare with his daughter last year? Yes. Yeah. And so. that was his last... last and so if we can't all be in the same zone, I would like for at least two of us to be... But for the three of us to be at four... Oh, your cobija? Grab it. For the three of us to be at haunt would be the. I would love to see that. And I feel like Lilith would be scarier than Oingo because Oingo is just not scary. <laughs> it's, I mean, you're scary, yeah. but Oingo, yeah. I don't know. I used to be deathly afraid of clowns before my my first year of working haunt. Hey, you know. And if you're going to be spend, scared of them, just embrace them and join them. Yeah, you spend six weeks with them. Four days out of the week, you kind of lose. No, you spend, all, you spend year after year with one. You don't have a choice. And that's Oingo. This is true. <laughs> he's, he's Oingo. He's just Oingo. He's just embraced the embodiment of Oingo year when round. I, when it's, I tell people that my boyfriend's a clown, they're like... <laughs> Literally, but like, yeah, he went to clown college and everything. <laughs> like that, he's just—that's what he does. He just goes out. For, you know, the way he makes money is he's on the streets of LA every day. You know, he's in—he's on Hollywood Boulevard. He's making clown, you know, balloons and doing tricks for very underpaid <laughs> for tips. And it's working for him. hey, you know, that's not a bad idea. Maybe he should, as a side hustle, just go dress up as Oingo on. <laughs> Go to Hollywood Boulevard, take pictures. On Hollywood Boulevard? <laughs> yeah. Well. Maybe if we're in a pinch, right, Oingo? What? Go be a clown on Hollywood Boulevard when we need money. <laughs> oh, me? No, bro. Excuse me, ma'am. No, I think uh, <laughs> the... the <laughs> with where the gas prices are today. <laughs> What's wrong, mommies? She fell off the chair. <laughs> now she's laughing about it. There you go. That was funny. 
What about a... Uh, well, I don't even know now because with gas prices the way they are, I wouldn't even want to go out to Hollywood. I'd be like, I'll go down to Beach Boulevard and do it. <laughs> That's the next best thing. I love it. what you say half the time child believe me she is talking the most pristine physics and everything to you look at your balloon she's like the square root of 69 is 42 divided by 3 take away the fact that there's 5 she's got a whole life formula I remember the square root of 5 from twilight Bella says it was in case you didn't know, hey. Betty Boop knows the square root of uh, like five because Bella from Twilight knew it. Hey, Betty Boop's a Twihard, man. Oh. It's more of a Harry Potter guy, but that's just me. Hey, I, there, I got all was well tested in my forearm. Get your balloon. Well, Edward was uh, also in Twilight. Or no, I'm not Twilight. Uh, Harry Potter. He was. He's, a, he's the same house as me. He's then he went on to join and become Batman. Yeah. What a life, right? How do you go from those vampire movies to this is fucking your vengeance now? I don't even, sometimes I don't even I don't even understand how these people get these roles. Like how how is it that you are the one to get the role? Like, I would love to have seen everyone else who auditioned. There's nothing in there. She's hungry. Oh, you're hungry. Hungry. I'm hungry too, Lilith. What you got? You got that six piece? She... Oh, it was from yesterday. Oh. It was her box from yesterday. Um, boxes are bring back memories for me when I used to get Happy Meals as a kid. Now I need about like four of them just to stay full. Just about. The child like a snack. Are you going to eat some Funyuns? <laughs> What uh? What's our next movie? Where is it? Is it Thor? Is Thor the next one? Is that in a few weeks? July seventh. It, it would be Thor. I don't know what else. Bullet Train. I'm thinking of that. When does that come out? In August. I want to see I that. Bo- I want to see Bullet Train. We all want to see Bullet Train. I just want to see Brad Pitt's beautiful eyes. I want to see Aaron Taylor Johnson. Oh. The one hit wonder, right? Hey, TJ. Mr. I'm going to be in one Marvel movie and that's it. I still think that was, that pissed me off. It's like, how are you going to introduce a character and then in the same movie kill off the character? It's like, what were you thinking? Oh, you know why? You know why that happened? Because it was Joss fucking Whedon. That's why. Hey, man, I don't see anything with Kick-Ass in it. Kick-Ass is great. I'm hoping they make a third one soon, especially of how ripped he looks now. But... Hit Girl has to return too. Even though they kind of went their separate ways at the end of two. I was like. Bro, is that my banger head, head, shoulders, knees, and toes? That it is. Bro, I've heard a punk version of it, dude. It makes you want to open the pit, bro. It's my Lilith's favorite songs right now. <laughs> we'll, give, we'll give Lilith the, the rock and roll version. She'll start a little mosh pit in the, the front room right there with one go. They get dropped. One goes gonna get dropped. Probably. That's hilarious, isn't it? Funny. I and, and like you look at a lot of the stuff that some the kids watch today, and it's just like, man, like this is way different than what I had growing up. Like me growing up, bro, it was it was Blues Clues, Bear in the Big Big Blue House, freaking the Wiggles. Are those any of those still around today? The Wiggles. They still exist. Yeah. Dude, they I think be... only one of only one of them's original. I was gonna say he's gotta be. They gotta be ancient now, bro. I know two of them. Anthony, Anthony and Jeff, the blue and the purple. 
Ow. I, I, that's just that's just once you're in it, you're in it for life, I guess, huh? Although, isn't Blue's Clues doing some like great like they're finally bringing back all the hosts and all the ho all the original hosts are back and shit. For some episodes, they bring back Josh and Steve, and those are the ones I watch with. <laughs> Steve was the first one, right? Yes, and then Steve went to college. Steve was see no Steve was balding, and they kicked him off the show. <laughs> That was honestly, the, that was the real. <laughs> and then then we got Joe. Joe and was Joe good. Got canceled. Joe got canceled. The show was canceled oh. when Joe was doing it. Yeah. And then they came back with that banger cover of "I'm Blue." Na ba di da ba da da ba. I was like, bro, I actually now put that, this. In then my we sp- got then we got Blue's Room, which didn't last very long. <sighs> I'm just surprised they've managed to keep the show alive. But I like I like the way it is now. Lilith learned a lot from Josh. Isn't it? It's a it's a yeah. It's a newer guy, right? He's like a little younger guy and stuff. And yes. What color does he wear? Purple. No, he wears blue. Why oh, does he wear blue? Mm-hmm. Steve was the best, bro. His handy dandy notebook was great. Like, I don't know, there's something about those older shows that were just amazing. When I was little, I went to go see Blue's Clues live, and I got to take a picture with Blue. How did they do that? It was like a puppet. I don't know if you can see the quality. Is that supposed to be you? Yeah, it's really bad quality. <laughs> I'll yeah. send you the picture so you can. That's hilarious. <laughs> Yeah, I got to sit in the thinking chair. The thinking chair. Did you have your handy dandy notebook and was getting ideas going? Heck yeah. I had one of those too back in the day. It's funny the way, like I said though, when you look at children's shows today compared to what they were back in the day, it's like, man, I don't know. There was something about it that was just, it felt like, did you just send it to me? Yeah. Or I'm going to look at the quick chat. Yummy. 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 Doesn't get more better than that. <laughs> and what year was that? I don't know. I think I was like four. So that would have been like 90, 98 or 99. I would have been in the world already. <laughs> the world was not prepared as to what was coming. That's great. <laughs> Any good TV shows you're watching lately that I should probably check out? Um, probably not, because I watch. Uh, yesterday, I binge watched something on Discovery Plus. Because I do quite enjoy Trixie Mattel. I don't know what that is. Trix- Trixie Mattel is a drag queen. Oh, okay. She has a show where she bought a motel in Palm Springs. And she's given herself a timeline to renovate it. To open in time for her pride. See, I'm, more of, a, I'm more of a flip or flop guy. It's kind of like that, though. Because, I mean, you, you see the whole process of them like flipping with a budget but trying to make every it's a it's an eight bedroom motel okay from like the 50s and they're giving it a full-on facelift how would you go about that i I mean for me looking thinking about the 50s i would i think i would keep that original style just modernize it is that what she did not necessarily because a lot of the the color palette was like dark browns and like beiges and very bland. Oh. And what she did with the rooms, like three of the rooms I've seen, they're just like, it's crazy how much people can. I, I like watching like flip or flop and all that stuff because it's just crazy seeing something go from one thing to like Extreme Makeover Home Edition. My mom used to watch that all the time when I was little. I, and I, I used mean. to. <laughs> I used to watch. <laughs> Like a crazy bedroom. 
And then as I got older, I'm like, what if these kids grow out of what their bedrooms are like <laughs> a month after they do that? That would suck. I know, right? Then you got to retheme it all over again. I think I've just, uh, at this point, I'm just like, Everything that I have hung up or on the walls or anything is staying and not going anywhere unless I have to move out. In which case, that's going to be a clusterfuck because I'm going to be in here for fucking years just cleaning this shit out. I would have to get boxes just for my pops because that's how much fucking pops I have. <laughs> it would suck. Most of my pops are still in the closet. Ronnie, you're committing, you're committing the biggest sin right now. Well, we don't have shelves because we weren't going to renew our lease here. We were going to go somewhere else, and that changed. And it'd be like that sometimes. <laughs> but I took two of my pops to work, so I have my Freddie Mercury and my... What kind do I have it with? I have one of my horror pops at work. I don't remember which one I took. So I take it you're a big Queen fan? Yes. Bohemian Rhapsody. Uh-oh. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. Lilith booted me. I figured as much. I was like, uh-oh. What happened? It was funny because it was just a picture of me and I just awkwardly looked at the camera like, hey. Would you like to pop in? It seems like he's wanting to. He just can't get enough of Nights of Horror beautifulness, right? He just wants to be exposed on the channel so much. Let him let him have his five minutes of fame real quick. Give him that if he wants it. He went away. <laughs> um, he's kicking his Xbox. I forgot he put it down here. Oh, yeah, he's Mr. PC Gamer now, huh? Yep. Buys a PC, all of a sudden just goes to the dark side. That's cool. Nothing against PC gaming. I just, uh, I'm not a mouse and keyboard guy, so I just couldn't adapt to that life. But over here leaving uh, me and Matt yesterday online, just the hell, we had no one to play with. It was just me, Matt, and Sammy, and I was like, who the fuck is everyone? And everybody was like, we're playing Valorant. I was like... Since when? <laughs> Since fucking when? I don't even play half the stuff. I only play with you guys when you play Among Us. <laughs> That's I haven't played Among Us in so long. I used to play with Oingo and Mooch when they would play Dead by Daily, but they don't invite me anymore. I didn't even know you were an option that we could bring in. Like if I would have known that, I would have I've sent the invite myself. Yeah, I have Dead by Daylight on my Switch. On the Switch? How is it on the Switch? I'm thinking about getting it on the Switch so I can take it on the go. Oh, no, that's the only way I've ever played it, unless Wayne goes playing and he goes to the bathroom or something and he's like... He's like... Throws right. the control at me. It makes me laugh sometimes when this shit he says online, especially like when you're in the background throwing something at him or not, and I just... I'm laughing. I think it's hilarious. <laughs> especially like when... He's in trouble, and then he throws something at him. I'm just like, God, oh, keep it going. Can we just get like a Can we just get like a live cam at your house, and then like when shit like that happens, I can just pull that and then just throw it on the internet. A live cam of me throwing plushies at at, at Oingo. Yeah. Or hitting him or anything. It'd be hilarious. That only happens after eleven o'clock at night during the week. Well, what time are you usually up for work? I start at 8, but we live, like, 10 minutes away from where I work. Oh, okay. So, so close. when I feel like not getting ready, I just change. And then we, I wake up and go up and we leave. So that's, like, try to be out of here by, like, 740. I'm the same way. I'm, I'm down the street from work. So I start at 630, and I'm up. I wake my set my alarm for 6. Hurry up, take a shower. I'm out of the house by like 6.25, and I'm at work by 6.30. Like two minutes away. It's beautiful. I could be late and still be on time. Uh, right? She knows. Well, I cannot be late because I'm the front recep desk receptionist. You're the face of the company. They just don't know it yet. 
Well, not a lot of people come in all the time, so I don't always get fancy. I don't blame you. Why 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 even have to when it's not not really required, you know? Yeah, a lot of the courts are still doing like online Zoom depositions, so it's like clients don't really come in. Even at that you have to make an appointment. So Objection here, sir. I feel like I've learned so much about court ever since watching that trial. I just know when I walk into court, it's just, uh, you can't handle the truth, you know, overturned, all that stuff. Just use the terms and I'll be okay. I don't use those terms at work. I understand them. The only term I, I, I would know is a deposition. Are you trying to go full-time lawyer eventually? Oingo wants me to, but I want to be a mortician. I did not see that. That came from left field. Like, what the hell? Really, since I'm not going to sell this, I'm going to open it, let her hold it. I, just, I don't want her to fuck up the box. Okay. I'm fuck not up the box. Sell any of the well, we, um, we went to WonderCon, and we went to the uh, Funko Pop little stand that they had. And you were able to buy what, like four different kinds of pops? It was a uh, Wally. I don't know who else, but we got Wally because Lilith likes Wally. I can hear can that. Hear she her. sounds like she likes Wally. What's your, what's your mommy? What's your mommy? So, this is the only pop we've ever taken out of the box. Can I see? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. That's a cool. It's a bobblehead, too, no? No. Oh wow, that's trips now. Only usually only Disney does bobbleheads and yeah. yeah. Now you have two Wallies. You have like a little mini one. I'm always so deep and so sad. Every time I watch it, I cry. Especially at the end when Ava's trying to bring back Wally and Wally comes back. And then just thinking about it. We definitely watch more Pixar movies in this house than Disney because of Lilith for the most part. I feel like Pixar, in my opinion, is better than Disney Animation Studios, but that's just me. The only Disney Animation movie she watches really is Cars. Princess and the Frog or... Frozen. Um, not so much anymore. You've officially hit the state where Frozen is slowly fading out. You don't ever have to hear it again. Well, I worked at Disneyland when Frozen came out, oh, wow. so that was not a fun time. <laughs> well, not just... when it came out. I was at Disneyland in 2015, but it was more when they brought Frozen to the parks. What did you do at Disney? Well, I've, I've, I've worked there three times, so. I've left and come back three, a total of three times. So the first time was during the 50th, the diamond anniversary. The 60th. That was good. So, I was at Pizza Port, but it was called Pizza Port. It's now Pizza Planet. That's my favorite restaurant in Disneyland, just because of the Alfredo alone. The cat down chicken sealy pasta is my favorite. It's delicious. And they got good pizza. They got good sal Caesar salads. Like, shit, man, now I'm hungry. I want to go to Disneyland and eat that food. My go-to is chicken facility with breadsticks. I usually go to the uh, the chicken Alfredo with the uh, the Caesar salad and a nice large drink. And, oh, we're good. And the second time I was at Disney was um, I had found I was like three four months pregnant. I was working there before I was pregnant, but I went on maternity leave. And I uh, was at Christina Cucamonga and Lucky's Fortune Cookery. In PA. That's another good place I like to eat too, man. They have good. They got good food there too. I don't like that Are you Lucky's gonna be careful? changed their menu though. Where's I Wally? do miss my coconut curry. Oh, see, I would just get the uh, back? the beef for the chicken with the rice and the little I, cup. I was satisfied with that. Yeah, I would get that with the coconut Let curry. Let. The pot stickers, though. Mm -hmm. off, yeah. off the record, Mom. you didn't hear this for me. But I had a couple of shift leads that were cool. And when we would close, okay. they'd be like, 
divide the, the food amongst yourselves. <laughs> How are you gonna say that live on a show, bro? Hey, I don't work. I don't work for the company. I don't speak for the company. And then the third I, time? I was was my favorite time. I was in attractions at the Little Mermaid, which was one of my favorite rides, but unfortunately to start you don't work very much in your first four months which is hard being a parent yeah. so i got my big girl job at the law firm and my manager were like get out of here you want to come back you can come back but in the meantime make make your money Cha -ching. so now for nine hours i sit at a desk hey man <laughs> could be doing worse things it's true I would say when you Could become be a mortician, we should film some content behind that. However, that is just incredibly disrespectful. <laughs> I give you my full blessing. If I die before I get older, you could film me. You could film video of you like working on me. You got my full, you, you got my full blessing. And if, and if that's the case, if you, if you are the mortician by then. Well, it's not a lengthy process like being a doctor. It's it's pretty short. I think I think I think what it, I think what it really is is someone just been on Haunted Mansion once too many times and was like, I want to. This is what I'm gonna do. But it's funny because when I was little, I wanted to be a veterinarian, and now. What happened to that dream? <laughs> I found out you had to to take hard math. Like hard sciences and like calculus in college, and I was like, nah, yeah, I don't me. blame you. I could barely do simple math. Me too. Like today, they were like, I was like, how many chairs are over there? He was like, twenty nine. I was like, I counted sixteen. I was like, let me pull up my calendar <laughs> or my fucking calculator and figured it out. It's forty five. Yeah. I do? <laughs> no, what so. am I gonna do? I don't know, man. Oh, in high school, I failed chemistry, and that was with my mom paying. So did for, I. And that was with my mom paying for tutors. I no, I didn't have any tutors. Well, I had the option to go to tutoring, I just never did because after school was over, I just wanted to go home. Um, yes, yeah, so I, I had to go to summer school because I still got a D. No, I I failed the first semester, and I also failed the first semester of Spanish too. <laughs> And so what happened was my mom had to have a meeting with my counselor and he was, she was like, he doesn't plan on going to college. Can he do like just the normal requirements to graduate high school? He doesn't want to do like the college credit, you know, grad requirements. And I was like, yeah. And so I went from having chemistry and Spanish too, to having film and graphic design. I was like, that is more what is going to benefit me in life. And it actually has. So. Well, out of all my friends in high school. I was one of the only ones that did not opt for accounting for math. So I took trig, stats, and probability. The most in math well, I went to, I think, was mommy, algebra two, maybe. And then I opted out at the end of high school to do a math class. I did business math, which was the most beneficial class I've ever taken in my life because it actually taught me percentages on, on taxes and whatnot and everything. And I was like, why aren't we learning this, like, why isn't this a requirement to learn? This is actually more beneficial than fucking algebra one and two and geometry. I was like, the last time geometry came up for me was when I saw Spider-Man No Way Home. <laughs> and Peter Parker explained it perfectly, so I didn't even have to understand it. But that's me. And my best friend texted me the other day, and she was like, do you remember math? And I said no, because <laughs> her dad needed help with homework. I was like, I know. This is all you, buddy. Is he is he good math? Is he good at math? It may come as a shock to you, but it yes, comes as an extremely big shock to me. He actually took physics and shit. And he's working minimum wage at not scary farm. <laughs> this guy could be out there fucking changing the world, but yet he's over here. No disrespect <laughs> to anyone. I'm just saying. If he is that smart, he should be out there fucking changing the world, not fucking sitting on his computer playing Valorant. Yeah. Is that, guy, 
Does that kid have that any college degrees? Time. No, he he wants to go to college, but it's it's not for everyone. The South Harmon Institute of Technology, I heard, is t taking applications right now. So. Well, we live close to a community college, but it's just hard because you gotta go, you gotta, you gotta work to pay the bills. Oh, I know. That's why when I graduated high school, I was like, "Fuck college! I need to make money." Well, I did a work study for my first job, technically. So when I wasn't in class, I was working. I feel that. I, I right I, off right out of high school, I just applied at Knotts. <laughs> You know what's funny is like it's now it's an oncoming trend. Like my cousin worked at Knotts. Now my sister's applying for a job at Knotts. I'm like, this family can't fucking get away from that theme park. Nope. I just, I had a I had a horrible experience working there. Um, maybe just the department and the people that I was working under, but I think the funnest moment of me working. And I and I always say this. I can technically say that I worked on is I actually worked on as park services. Park services is important. It's no, it's 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 literally a shit job. It's the lowest of the low. <laughs> and they give you compliments. You're like, oh. no compliments needed. I already understand where that job is at compared to the other jobs. Dude, it's just like you you walk around the park and there's trash everywhere. It's like, do you guys not see trash cans? Like, and still, I'm still a custodian to this day, so. Might be a custodian to the day I die, probably. Unless this YouTube stuff picks off, then fucking bye bye. No, that's not true. I'm. I think I. I think I've talked about that. I was like, if I even if I like were to make a a, a full time position on on YouTube, I would just keep my job for the benefits and the extra salary, but I wouldn't put as much effort as I do with YouTube. <laughs> I'm like, you You got me at like a good 95% effort right now. Mm -hmm. I'm dropping that down to about 55%. That's all you're getting. You can do what everyone does and retire to, and work at Disneyland. I could see and, myself. Uh, and you, can, you, can, you can make pretty pictures on the floor with water or out of leaves. I was going to say, I could see myself doing like Jungle Cruise, honestly. And a skipper. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta get land the jokes, so you gotta land the jokes. Oh man, I like, I practically know the jokes. You know, it's like you wear it so many times and see so many skippers that I just practically know it. I would hype the shit out of backside of water. I would, in a heartbeat, bro. I would, I would the best make it. One. I, I would make it like this is the greatest experience you're gonna see all day at Disneyland, at any Disney park ever. Yeah. Like, ladies and gentlemen, get water. your cameras ready. Oh, wait, no, we're in the 20s, so I couldn't even say that. I'm like, ladies and gentlemen, get your eyeballs ready. Because you're about to see one of the greatest things this planet has ever, ever had the opportunity to have. That's right, folks. The eighth wonder of the world. The backside of water! Oh, <laughs> Oh man, that's hilarious! I still haven't seen that movie. Have you seen Jim? Uh, was that any good? Jungle Cruise. Was what? Okay. Owie, owie me. You want us to the backside owie? of water too? You got an owie? No, owie. No. Okay. No. I'm a baby. Has she always? She's always been a mommy's girl, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Cause um. Her first year of life, when Go and I weren't fully living together, he would just stay at my mom's for extended periods of time. So and now you're unfortunately stuck with him. And he went back to work before I did, so I think that also COVID had a big part in how attached she is to me. Yeah, I mean, especially when you're first locked in, you know, you guys pretty much had to keep each other company. Yeah. Is it sad that I kind of missed the early days of the pandemic where I, like I was off of work for like two months? I kind of miss it. Like, can we? I kind of want to go back to that in a way. 
But then after a while, I just I remember getting bored and wanting to do something else besides staying at home. You can only do it for so long. Yeah. But at the same time, I kind of miss it. My sleep schedule was fucked. I was going to bed. I was pulling all nighters and going to bed and not waking up till like four or five in the afternoon and then doing the cycle all over again. My sleep schedule is permanently messed up from my first year of hunt. <laughs> I don't even know how I'm. I don't even know how I get any sleep at all now because I'm just so like so tired when I get home and I tried so hard to nap and I took a nap earlier and. Now I don't even know how I'm going to sleep tonight. Maybe I'll take a sleeping pill. I try to be asleep by 2, so I wake up at like 7.30. You ever tried taking any CBD? Yeah, but... Well, when she was younger, I would try not to. My mom would be like, take melatonin, take Benadryl, CBD. And when she was younger, I would try not to because I would be afraid that I wouldn't wake up if she woke up in the middle of the night. Mm. CBD has that good an effect of you, even if you get like a low dosage of it. Oh, well, we've we, we've gotten uh, CBD gummies, but I'll eat the whole damn fucking. Just give me all of them. They make them in such small dosage, and just like. Well, you're a bigger guy than I am, so it takes a lot less for me. That's true. That is very true. So I got to buy. Uh, I'm thinking I'm, I'm going to try. I'm Hopefully, I, I saw there were still seats left. It's not nearly as crazy, but tomorrow is my attempt at trying to buy Thor tickets. The odds be ever in your favor. What are we doing? Do I still got to do around 7 o'clock? Is that round, roughly? When go? For Thor, like around 7 or what? The movie's going to suck. <sighs> Hayden, you don't have to go. Fuck him. He could buy his own ticket. 7.30. 7.30. Fucking Lilith <laughs> is taking his place. She'll enjoy it more. Yeah, see? She knows. You want to go see Thor, Lilith? She's at the point. Of... We're going to probably have to just cover eyes in one scene, though, I can promise. She's at the point of her sleepiness where she actually would be. For those who don't know, Lilith is our official family and children's movie review for the movie club. So, Hi. Don't take my phone. You know, I, and I was just seeing it on Instagram. It seems you really like being a mother. Yeah. it's. I can't remember what it was like before, even though it's only been like two years, but. When I was younger, I, I had this talk with my cousin the other day too. Just for some reason, she had she had the same thought too. Like we just couldn't have kids. Like well, I we just like I thought when I was younger, like oh I'm never gonna be able to get pregnant. I'm never gonna be able to have kids. And then, bam. One go shut up in your life. <laughs> my only advice is to make sure. You don't miss more than three days of taking your birth control. <laughs> that just that, turned unexpectedly. You throwing me another curveball out of nowhere. That's what happened. I have terrible memory. Terrible. What's two times two? Four. Hey, it's not that bad. <laughs> I had to think about it. But... Um, yeah, I would forget and I'd be like, oh, it's okay. I could take two tomorrow. And then next thing I knew I was trying to supplement like four or five days. They'd be like, well, I could take three and then two. <laughs> it's not how it works. That's not how it works. Not. <laughs> oh. now I have, I have the handy dandy one in my arm somewhere. But since I've gotten fatter, I don't know where it is. It's You're like not in my fat. You are not fat. I have gotten bigger since I've gotten it, so it's it's somewhere in here. What is it? I just, What's in there? It's a, it's like a little plastic <laughs> stick, like this big. What's it for? Birth control. Birth control. So you don't have to take birth control. It just it that just stays it. in your body. Yeah, it's it's good for three years. Oh my god! I didn't even know that was a thing. 
they numb your arm and then they get like a, a syringe with a needle that's like this big and they just put it in there i have a scar from i have a scar from when they did it, they took it out the first time this is the second time i've had it it's this little you've done it more than once oh well the first time they don't recommend you having that birth control when you're taking antidepressants. I just, so. I don't, needles and, but then people are like, you can get a tattoo. I'm like, it's different. It's different. Different. It's very different. The needles going inside my body for a fucking shot. My mom got two tattoos and like once, it was like, I was, I was after a track practice. So I'm in like my sh track uniform shorts and a sweatshirt. And my mom's like, oh, I'm just getting two tattoos. And I was like, okay, cool. But it was like from start to finish with color and shading. It was like four hours and my mom's falling asleep on the chair. All comfortable though, because she's like got a nice long chair and I'm like in a chair like this. Like, like God damn it, mom. I want to go lay down on a bed or something. It's been a long day at school. <laughs> Thanks, mom. Thanks, mom. That's uh. Let's see, you got a track background, so you can you can probably run faster than I can. Not nowadays. I don't know, man. When My Lilith, lungs are pretty when fucked. Lilith, when Lilith takes off running, I send Oingo. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, that's just called being a the smarter parent, saving yourself from injury, and let the and let Oingo take the uh, the fall. Well, I was in track, but I was in jumps, so I didn't do the running. I was I did in long, long jump and triple jump. I was in drama. I I also did cross country, so I can't run fast, but I can run long. I'm about like five seconds into running, and I'm just like. <gasps> <gasps> Gee, I wonder why. I'll tell you many and reasons I, why. And I did that with asthma. I had to keep my inhaler on me. I had an inhaler once when I, when I had bronchitis. That was it. I've never, you know, what's funny is like my, my dad has asthma and I, I never got it. I might, I, I could probably still get it, but I don't know. Me and two, my, two of my cousins have it, but my mom doesn't have it. My aunt doesn't have it. So we don't know where we got it from. We don't just, know which of our ancestors had asthma, but <laughs> imagine what it was like when, did. when like back in the day, like I'm talking like as far back as like the 16, 1500s, and people had asthma. How do you deal with that? Die. They must have like breathing exercises they can do and calm them down. I don't. I know. remember sometimes for a haunt, I would have to do my breathing machine. I mean, but look what you're doing all sing all night. Like, it's, it's it, may, it, it makes sense why you had to do, you know, you're fucking, you're pacing back and forth constantly for six to eight hours, you know, and it's tiring. Well, I hope they expand Goring because. <laughs> you had to man, look out into the railroad tracks. Man, would I laugh. Sometimes I get a little warm. And my lead would be like, slow it down. And I'd be like, well. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> slow it down. <laughs> oh, that's great. I, I Yeah, they think they need an expand. I think they should expand it all the way down Pony. And yeah. make the cutoff like right at the end of where that, where that barbecue place is next to Pony. Like that's the cutoff. And then, you know. Cause that's just dead space right there. That'd be a good area to fill. I mean, there's not much yeah, to really. Everyone runs off and hides when they're scared of us, anyways. Exactly. Nowhere to run, because if they go even further, then they gotta face Ghost Town. You know, they go the other way, they gotta face fucking Carnival. So there's just yep. no, there's no hiding. I, I, I really wish that they would go back to the mission statement of, uh there's really nowhere to hide you know there's like where at, at the point where like everywhere you went it was like there was monsters like there was no safe i remember like when i went back in the day 
there were that alley where Timber Mountain is at and everything. There used to be people that would scare right there, and I was like, "Why? Why don't we bring this back? Like, I want spot. I don't want to have dead zones. Like, I want, I want to be scared from one of the moment I enter those gates to the moment I leave." I remember when they used to have scare actors on the Calico Mine Ride and the yeah log ride. Yeah, and I remember we got stopped on the Calico Mine Ride, and whoever that monster was, at like our mining car, who was trying to teach us to do the the snarl. That was just me just clearing my throat, to be honest. And <laughs> <laughs> sounds good, though, right? I could never do it, but then again, I don't think you really need to do it with your character, though. It's it's perfect. You get no, I don't. I've, well, I've never needed to because I was a death hag, and then I was a one of Peter's wives, and I took it that route. Like it's literally. Like a nursery rhyme, and I, I would just stand in the pumpkin and I would do that like sing songy. Like if I was having a couple screws lo- loose in my brain. What was it too? Like eight months pregnant. Seven and seven and a half, yeah, eight months. I still trip out every time I think about that. It's just like that's the people first. People thought my belly was fake. They'd be like, "Oh my god, look, she's pregnant. Is it real?" It kind of fit in if you're supposed to be one of the wives, you know what I mean? It's like that wife just happened to get pregnant. The other wives didn't. I mean, you know, you, you could have just rolled with it and be like, this is what happens when you make freaking this motherfucker happy, and this is what I got to deal with now. <laughs> when in reality, you could really have been talking about Oingo, you know, and they wouldn't even know. I did have a, a plastic pumpkin, though, and sometimes... Uh, when the hollows people would come through, gave birth to a pumpkin. Give birth <laughs> to a pumpkin. I'm sorry, I had to process that for a second. I was like, did she just say what I think she just said? Well, it was more like a gag. I just like shoved the pumpkin under my apron really quick and then just plopped it on the floor. Flop. <laughs> would you say that was like a golden year? Was that, a, that that's probably easily one of your most memorable years, right? Yeah. Just because of the circumstances and everything. Yeah. I was more proud of myself that I didn't. Because even when I would roll my ankle or, like, I wasn't feeling good, I wouldn't go home. I would just be, like, a blackout. You made it work. So, Something you got to know about this one is she doesn't miss one day of haunt. I don't. Perfect attendance. I think for this year's, we're going we're gonna to do something new this year. We're going to do the Knights of Horror Haunt Awards. And the award for perfect attendance, which there's probably a lot, but I'm gonna I'm gonna be I'm gonna pick, I'm going I'm doing favoritism for this one. It's gonna go to <laughs> it's gonna go to Betty Boop. Yes. You print you out a nice little paper. And you can frame it. Perfect attendance. You can put it right over the wall right there for the next podcast. So it's like perfect attendance right there. Next to my haunt award. Yeah. Which is in the closet right now because we have like nothing up on the walls. I have Lilith sonogram taped up but that's about it <laughs> are you doing a lot of like nail shit in the walls or anything or i think we can i mean it's not hard to fill in a hole you just need spackle that's and, what she said and spackle and white paint you just fill it in because there are like little like right here there was there was a hole like someone pinned something right here Sounds like a fun time. I need to clean these walls, actually. Have fun I never, I never, I never understood why my mom would be like, "You need to clean the walls." When I would, was living with her, but now I see it. Is it because Lilith or? Well, we used to have the bed up against this wall, so like right here is when like <laughs> Lilith would put her feet on the wall. So there's some little black feet print, like feet right here. It's the memories. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, like Miss Betty Boo. Oingo left, and I'm oh. still watching Yo Gabba Gabba. What is, where did he go? Pick up his brother? Yeah, he took Lilith with him. Oh. I was wondering why I just got quiet all of a sudden. I was like, <laughs> what happened? Where, did everyone just fall asleep? or? No. 
Well, she never naps during the day, so we try not to let her go to sleep until like nine. Because then she wakes me up early and I get cranky. I'm a cranky. I'm every morning my everyone wants to talk to me in the morning. I'm like, I don't want to talk to you. I'm still trying to wake up. Like, fuck off. Leave me alone. And as soon as I get to work, I have to answer phones. <laughs> you get to hear people right off the bat. If yep. Not, if you're not dealing with the child, you're dealing with people. Yes. That's great. Fun times. Um, you excited for Horror Nights? I would like to go. Yeah, do it Nights of Horror style, though. Well, last year we almost didn't go, but my friend bought us the tickets to go with them. Because originally they were going to go by themselves, but then there ended up being like five of us or six of us. We may have to get a whole crew to go this year because um, we have a lot of people that want to go. But I also, the day that my friend chose to go was like, it was awful because we went in like, well, I, we did the Frankenstein maze like five times because that line was never that long. It was so beautiful. It was. But I also wanted to do like other, like Haunting of Hill House, we wasted like two hours waiting in line for that. 100%. So it was like the day they chose. Like I do it strategically because we go before we start doing knots or like the last night. So it's like not super duper packed. Listen, what you got to do, right? It's going to be out very soon, probably in the next few months. You got to follow the Knights of Horror game plan. That's going to get you by everything. I promise you. It works for me every year. You know, it will work for you. Okay? Well, Oingo and I would, we would go. And this was before, like, when I used to go in the past, before I went with Oingo, I would get, like, the front of the line. The double, no, just the double, like, the ticket. So I would go into Universal for a couple hours. Oh, and then, the, the day-night combo. Yeah. So then I would already be in there, so I would do all of the back lot first, and then I'd make my way out to the front. And that, since, like, 27, 16 or 17, I was able to do everything. It's just last year was the first year I didn't get to do everything. I don't think you, really missed, I had to, you didn't really miss had, much anyway. I had to wait for my friend to get there, and then I had to wait for their friends to get there. So it was like me and Oingo just waiting most of the time. So it was like, could have been doing other things. They got, for this year so far, I'll give you some theories. I'll give you some my theories too. But for this year so far, we got Universal Monsters of Legends Collide and Halloween 1978. I'm also seeing that looking like we're going to probably get Nope as Terror Tram. That would be dope, though. It would be dope for Nope. Uh, Killer Clowns. Killer Clowns is returning, and that is the reason why I'll probably be buying a Frequent Fear Pass. La Llorona. Fuck that bitch. Uh, well, because they're doing that facade, like the church. Yeah, it's obvious. So. Evil Dead is supposed to be rumored, too, but we'll see. That's always one that we go in just to, like, go in. It was never... Evil Dead is amazing. Bruce Campbell. Uh, whenever we go through it, it's it's just, like... You probably went through Ash vs. Evil Dead. That's why, right? Yeah. That explains it. it was, I mean, I still had a good time in that maze, but it wasn't the best. I don't know. I also miss being scared. At this point, I just walk through mazes, and I'm just like, Oh, yeah, wow, that looks cool. That or I'm getting like this close to being hit in the face because they don't know how to keep their distance at Universal. Oh yeah, that's cool. <laughs> What's it take for Ronnie to get scared today? Honestly, in the trick or treat maze, I got scared shitless, but that's because I was distracted looking at the like the ghost decorations, and then <laughs> Sam just came out of fucking nowhere, out of you know what I'm talking about. That's like, right at the, the beginning. <laughs> Yeah, I was looking at, at the scenery, and then he just fucker just comes running out of the ghost, and I was startled because I was distracted. You literally, I have to be distracted and not paying attention for you to scare me. And that doesn't always work because... It's good to know, though. It has to be, like, the right... I don't know. It doesn't always work. 
I'm good at distracting people, so. I don't know. I've been going to haunts since like 27, like either Knox or Universal since 2017, and I haven't gotten scared. Intentionally. You're a liar. You got scared. You just said you got scared through trick or treat. That was in Inten 2017. Intentionally. That was unintentional because I was like, look at these ghosts. All right, let's step like, it up. I really then. like these. Let's take you to 17th door. Been there. I won't. <laughs> I went with my mom. Well, fuck me then, right? <laughs> All right, let's take you to McKinley Manor. That was questionable. <laughs> I actually that wanted one, to go that to the is... door when I was pregnant, but one of my friends was working it, and I was like, hey, can I go through everything? And she was like, no, there's some things you probably won't let you do. And I was like, well, it's a waste of money. I wouldn't. They, they make you sign a contract, but even when you give up, they still don't let you give up, so. When I went, like. Oh, you're talking about 17th door? Yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, I, was, I, didn't, I wasn't scared or anything when I went. Did you, I you went eat. pregnant? No. Oh, okay. I wanted to go because oh. Oingo hadn't been. So I was like, I asked my friend because she, she works there. And I was like. Can I go? And she's like, there's some things you probably wouldn't be able to fully experience. And I'm like, well, Oingo won't go by himself, so it's a no. I won't even go. Why not? I don't like being touched. Hey, being being a parent, I have no, like, well, obviously she's not here right now, but I have, I don't. It doesn't bother me. No, that you know, it's different when it's someone you know, but I'm talking about like my biggest thing, right? Is, is that they're gonna they're gonna like shove me into something or, or something, and it's just gonna trigger something, and I'm gonna fight back, and I don't want that. So out of the respect for everyone, I just don't go. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna get shocked. I'm gonna fucking just destroy shit. What well, I'm gonna just be? I'm gonna be. There's a lot of things that are gonna happen, and my rage is gonna take the best of me, and I'm gonna start destroying shit. And I, it's just best if I don't. Fair enough. And they got a cockroach scene, and I'm just like, nah, I'm good. That surprisingly didn't bother me that much. I don't like insects and that. I hate bugs. Like, they're doing, like, another arachnophobia, I think, I saw on Facebook. Count me out. I'm good. Count me out. I cannot stand spiders. I hate unless spiders. It's like, unless it's, like, those cute little jumping spiders that I've no. seen on TikTok. All spiders must die. But, no, I, I can't. Because when I was in the first grade, I got bit, like, right here by a spider. Ooh. And my eyes felt shut. And I still had to go to school. You're like this. Well, I literally had, like, a ball on my eye. Hey, guys. What's up? I would have wore, wore an eye patch and be like, why are you wearing an eye patch? Why aren't you wearing an eye patch? I could not have worn an eye patch. It was, like, huge. It was, like, Rapunzel's head, like, right here. Oh, my here. God. The fact that you yeah. just pulled a doll out of nowhere to use that as an example is more scary than the actual story. When I tell you Lilith messes these dolls up, Rapunzel has dreads. Did she comb the hair herself? I had to put her hair in a ponytail because it was worse than this. Hey, some people just have some bad hair days, you know? Even 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 Disney characters have bad hair days. If, if you, I'm pretty sure you can look like turn anywhere in this room, bend down and pick up a toy. In this room, of Lilith. Oh. That would come in handy during haunt. Should buy one. I bought it on Amazon for like thirty bucks. Well, last year we had a couple people that had some of those. I just never used them because I was too lazy. It was like, I just pulled my back recently and I used this. I just like, I turned it on and I just put it on my chair and just let it like do its thing. Oh, it's so, like my back is numb afterwards, but it feels so good. I also just get triggered because, you know, I was in track and I would always get shin splints. So just getting my shin splints rolled out, it's, I'd rather just be sore and in pain. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Then you got to go back after haunt. You got to go back to being a mom. That's never going to change. <laughs> and you know, that life is, is, it has its days where some are really good and some are just like, fuck. 
that's why I'm doing uh, like a shit ton of cardio. Me and Michael Madre, we do an hour. On the treadmill. We, no. We do 30 minutes cardio to start and we end with cardio. So we are on the treadmill to start and we end on the elliptical for like 10, 15 minutes. Tell Comadre to get one of those. I should tell her. <laughs> oh, man. I can convince her. I'll be like, hey, you should get this. Uh, and then she'll be like, totally. She'll get it. What's your favorite Queen song? I know it's random, but we were talking about Queen earlier then. You disappeared for a little bit. And then... I want to break free. I That's want it. to break free. Just because I love the video. Of him kind of dressed up and everything. I don't know, <laughs> man. I mean, Bohemian uh, Rhapsody is always going to be God tier. I don't but... know. I, I always like the songs that aren't like. Well, well not, that, not that everyone doesn't like or want to break free, but like. I, like, I love Stone Cold Crazy. That's one of my favorites. To me, that was like that one of the heaviest songs they probably ever made. Yeah. And then Metallica went on to cover it, and it got even better. Let's see. Oh, I also like Killer Queen. That Killer one. Killer Queen. If you ever go back and or if I post anything like that, that's what my before it was Spooky Mom. It was Killer Queen. Was my my social medias. Spooky Killer Mom Queen. <laughs> If there's ever a, a queen tribute at the Santa Fe Spring Swap Meet, I'll definitely let you know. Yes, I love me some queen. Cause I'll be I'll be there with the beard, just like. Oof. I wanted to see Mark Martell, really bad. Mark Martell. Who's that? He's a he's a Freddie impersonator. Oh. I, like if I'm you look a, it up, like he he sounds like pretty close to Freddie. I, I gotta be real on this. I'm not a fan of Queen with Adam Lambert. Nope. I hate it. You would not catch me there. No, no I, 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 to me, the only way I would go see Queen is if they, I mean, the only way that I would go see Queen is the only way they could do it now is if, even if you had a Freddie Mercury hologram, that's the only way I would go, probably go see Queen because I've seen a hologram in concert before and it's actually pretty entertaining. Adam Lambert is a very talented singer. I just think he overdoes it when doing the Queen stuff. I think so too. Like Freddie, Freddie was very outgoing and he had his flamboyance and would go over the top but he knew when to stop mm -hmm. adam does not know when well, to it's stop. just with freddie though he was entertaining to watch like i love i love freddie but like i i did that i did a hologram show one time there's this uh metal artist named ronnie james dio you may or may not have heard of him um but he died in 2010, so in 2019, I think it was, they were doing a concert, but it was it was the actual band that he used to play with when he when he did that band, but the only thing that was different was there was a hologram in the middle. I had I've seen them on the internet. I, I've heard of the the hologram. I'd never seen one in person. I was blown the fuck away because it felt like I was actually looking at Dio and he just came back from the dead. Like it was one of the greatest things I've ever seen. And um, that's probably the closest I'm going to get to actually seeing Dio in real life. So I saw a TikTok of like ABBA holograms and that was, that was the first time I've seen one that was actually pretty convincing, but it was just the lighting. Because it was like a red light in the background, so it looked different. But once yeah. like the actual lighting came back on, you were like, oh, yeah, you could tell. Well, I was pretty close to the stage. Uh, I was like literally on the bottom floor to the stage. And it looked realistic. I, I was like, fuck, this motherfucker's back from the dead, bro. We're, we're doing this again, man. Dio's back. And I was just happy to be there. And I was a fanboying over Ronnie James Dio. But... Sadly, he's really dead, so. Yeah. But I'd like to see that with Queen. If they can do something with Freddie Mercury, I would 100% go to a fucking sold-out forum just to go see him. Me too. 100%. Funny, funny story. I don't know if I've told you this or not, but when I was in high school, uh, at the end of every drama show, we would always circle up and sing Bohemian Rhapsody. 
I never did stuff like that for drama in high school. This is why I say, this is why I say I'm a, I'm the best slider without pads because I actually had to slide into the, the guitar solo for Bohemian Rhapsody. See, we did Beauty and the Beast, and the only thing I did was somersaults across the stage because uh, I was in Human again. And so when they would sing "Sweep the Dust Off the Floor," someone was a broom and I was the dust, so I had to literally roll across the stage. And when I tell you I had bruises down my back. <laughs> I would love to do a production of Rock of Ages. That'd be dope. I just saw that movie for the first time like a few months ago, and I was like, why haven't I, why did I wait so long to see this fucking film? This is the music, every music that I like is in here. Most musical movies I've seen, like 100%. Yeah. Uh, Mamma Mia? I watch Mamma Mia on the regular. I love ABBA. Yeah. <laughs> is that the, no, that's not the song, right? Dancing Queen. Is it? Is that in that movie? That, that was Dancing Queen, yeah. Yeah, it was. Okay. I just know that because it's, it's on the Universal Studio Tour. <laughs> I don't know. To me, The Blues Brothers is one of the greatest the movies Blues. ever made. And there's a lot of good covers in there. I'm um, looking forward to the Wicked movie. Because I just that hope is it's my good. Favorite musical. And I'm very excited very excited i just hope and it's it, good <laughs> the way you were angry for star wars 8 and jurassic park world jurassic world dominion the way you were angry be, with your expectations that's a lot how i will be because i've seen wicked four times yeah i've seen so it i've seen it three times and i i'm the same way i'll if it's shit i'm gonna be pissed. i was pissed off of how cats turned out and cats is a fucking great musical and then to see what they did with that fucking movie, I was like, what are we doing, Hollywood? Leave Broadway to Broadway. Let's not adapt into films. Phantom of the Opera worked, but that was that was a fucking film long before the actual musical. So Love, love Phantom. But, yeah, I, I have high hopes for, for Wicked. I, I'm going to put my expectations. I'm not even going to have expectations for that. I'm just going to walk in and hope it's good. Because if I put my expectations like that, it's going to be like how I was with Cats. I was like, oh, I love Cats. This was great. The show's great. And then I watched the movie. I'm like, this is fucking shit. I can't not have expectations. Like, when I was five, I would watch The Wizard of Oz every day. To the point where if I was to ask my mom now to watch The Wizard of Oz with me, she will say no. <laughs> I, can't, I can't watch Wizard of Oz the same after, like, reading dark shit about it and stuff. I'm just like, every time I watch it, I'm like, this movie's fucking evil. I would go back from Wizard of Oz and return to Oz. Any Wizard of Oz adaptation I've seen. Wiz? Yes. He's on down the road. I went think, to the Academy uh, of Arts Museum and they had um, Eveline's outfit there and I was freaking excited. And at Boingo, of course, was the... No, he didn't. He knew what it was, surprisingly. <laughs> I, uh, I can't wait because Beetlejuice is coming to the Pantages Theater next year. I know. I don't think I'll get to see it, though. I'm going to buy a ticket. If I, even if I go by myself, I don't give a shit. I'm just going to go see it. I usually see things over here at Seagerstrom because it's a little more in my price range. That's the one right there across the street from that bougie-ass mall, right? Yeah. I've been in that mall one time. That was to go to a, a game launch for, I believe the game was Titanfall at the Microsoft store. That was the only Microsoft store in the area at the time. Now there's one at Cerritos Mall. But... I went to a Microsoft store launch, and uh, there was a UFC fighter that showed up, met him, got his autograph. Don't know what happened to that autograph. Obviously, he wasn't. I'm starting to think about it now. I think I know who the guy was. Shit. Um, but long story short, uh, that mall is too bougie for me. They looked at me like I was fucking like, what the fuck are you doing in here? It's like, bitch, I fucking, I'll own this shit real quick, bro. I'll make this mall mine. You ever seen Paul Blart? We'll do some Paul Blart real quick. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that was... But yeah, I've been to that. I, I've been to that theater. I saw Wicked there once. Yeah, I've seen Wicked. See, out of the four times I've seen it, I've seen Wicked there three times. And I saw Wicked once at the Pentagious because my aunt bought the tickets for us. But I've seen The Wizard of Oz. I've seen Phantom of the Opera. I still haven't seen Phantom. I gotta see Phantom. When I saw it, we had the original Chandelier. Oh my god. It was nice to see. It was beautiful. Uh, that, and that. yeah, it's it's smaller, but I don't, I don't know. I like seeing things. 
over here. Part of me wishes they would have done the uh, the adaptation based on the original like silent film where it was actually a horror film. But what they did with this adaptation and kind of reinvented it to be more of a a drama and like you know the way it is like I'd still it's still good. I think it's obviously it's won so many fucking awards and it's really well known and yeah. I won't see Hamilton. I just don't I think want to. I've, I think I've seen it enough on YouTube and I saw it on Disney Plus and it was enough for me. I just, there's no interest in it for me. I don't care about Alexander Hamilton. I'm like, wasn't this guy like on the $20 bill or something like that? It's about I all I know. The, my brain, the way my brain is, works is literally just like, I'll remember things from, from that. People be like, Hamilton's it. great. I'm like, I don't care. The songs were catchy. Like, I got to give it to Lynn. He's he's very good. He's a, he's a great lyricist. Didn't he just do something else recently? In the Heights. Yeah, he that's the... the music for Moana. He did the music for Moana? He did. I don't, I don't want to see that. I, don't, I have no interest in seeing that either. Lilith loves... We, we, got, we got Moana right here. <laughs> the fucking hair. All crazy. Told you I have to put their hair up. <laughs> Years of practice has paid off, right? So <laughs> one thing, like I can style Lilith's hair easily because I can braid my own hair, which a lot of people think is weird. Not weird, but I could braid my hair too. If you grew your hair out, I could probably braid it. I braid Oingo's hair sometimes. My hair is not uh it's too curly, so it doesn't grow out good. So it'd just be more of an afro than it actually would a fucking hair. Yeah, in, in high school, I would braid everyone's hair on track. I had friends in wrestling, so the girls would be like, braid my hair. You were a wrestler too? Hair. No, one of my exes was. Oh. Did it always want to go right there? Is that why you laughed? No, he's still not back yet. Oh, okay. Um, I had friends in swim. I would braid their hair so they can put in their swim caps. I just pulled out my reclining part of my chair. It feels nice now. Well, I don't know when the hell Oingo's chair is supposed to get here. He's been making payments on it. I don't know how he can sit in this for five hours and play games. Once you're motivated, you're motivated. Like, the cushion on this chair is completely flat now. I feel that. I uh, when I did my twenty four hour stream, I sat in this chair for well twenty four hours. Twenty four hours. <laughs> and I didn't want to look at it after that day. It was just the worst. That was one of the not the worst things I did because what I was doing it for was a good cause, but it was definitely one of the most challenging things I've ever done. Because there was moments where I'm like, "Fuck this, I'm gonna take a nap," but then I stayed awake. So. Oh, okay, look help. who's home. Say help. Help. Please. I need somebody. Oh, it's still going? Yeah. Still Me and Tony could talk for hours probably. Yeah. One girl don't know how to keep the conversation going. That's why your episode's only like 45 minutes long. <laughs> okay. You got it? Nice. He know it too. We'll wrap it up right now. We're at an hour and a, we're at an hour and a half. Wow. I feel like that's longer than when we did Mindless for our podcast. I guess because we have more of a wide variety to talk about today, right? Yeah, just in general. Because I feel like musically, I listen to a lot of stuff, and movie wise, I watch more things than Wango would. I so badly want to get a group of us. Have you ever seen like the? They have them in LA sometimes, like the, uh, like the pop punk festivals of like all the tribute bands of like famous pop punk stuff, like. They do tributes to like Paramore to like fucking. Paramore's my shit. And I was gonna I say I feel like I'm sorry to say this, but you look like you'd be a Paramore fan. Hell yeah, Stan, Hello. I think it's the, the hair. Reason, the only reason I did my hair orange is for for Haley. <laughs> she released the the Hot Topic shirt for like the the proceeds were going to I forgot what, but it said Tiny Hot Topic bitch on it. Hot Can't tell you, fucking I, topic. I, I slapped down forty dollars so fast. The only thing Hot Topic but, has for me now is Funko Pops. But I like I told Edwin, I'm like, if 
they announced that they're going on tour. Like, I am going to sell platelets. I'm going to. <laughs> I need to be in the pit. Oh, count me in. I'm there. You you want to get in the pit? We'll get in the pit. I'll drop motherfuckers. I wanted to go to emo night, like so bad. Let's plan. I know they do. They do some of those in LA sometimes. I think we should try to get tickets, and the tickets are relatively cheap, like twenty bucks, twenty five bucks for a tribute. I mean, they're all tributes, but shit, it's just the music that we all grew up on. You like, get a Green Day show, fuck, bro. I'm going like, straight emo. Punk and pop punk is like my preferred genre and alternative. As far as old school punk goes, who's your favorite band? Do you have a favorite band of old school punk? Grew up on the Beastie Boys. That's like rap punk, but. I'll, I'll, give, I'll give it to you. Beastie Boys are good. I like the Beastie Boys. I think I think if I have to chew, well, I don't think I have to say what mine is. You also have to specify it. I love the what? Misfits. Yeah. Misfits is always good. Uh, I wonder if you like the Misfits, Tony. Oh, I wonder. Never guess. See, see, you know, that right there. My uncle has, like, two of the... The action figures. Just don't mind me, just uh, drinking my juice. Nothing in this cup. Like a lot of my music is from my uncle. Like I remember for there's a band called Screeching Weasel. Yep. And they have a song called Veronica Hates Me. <laughs> like he would just show me. Like he's like, hey, look, we'll do a song, and I was like, I need to send this to all my exes. That's right <laughs> for me. Do, 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 do. We watch Shrek. Uh, no, it only goes on TikTok. Um, Bad Religion's good. Dead Kennedys are good. Um, X is good. Uh, Interrupters are good. Like my my music background will range from like in excess, like the Smiths. Uh, Twisted Sisters. Like, I want to rock Twisted Sister? Yeah. Okay. Like, my mom and my uncle. Like, my music genre. Like, my music is, like, my mom and my uncle. I feel like a like, lot of past, it came from my dad and my cousins, but... I can't tell you. Like, seeing, hearing past the Duchy be so mainstream now. I know, I'm right? like, I was so young. Like, my uncle had like three versions of that on his iPod. That this I would generation. Hear, like... Well, there you go. That's that's how you know you were young. You just used the term iPod. Well, my my uncle still plays music on his iPod. iPods like... are great, bro. But on I feel his... like now that I could just do everything on this now, it's just like, what's the point of an iPod? You know, it's like. Well, my uncle is a. He's old school, in... and I respect yeah. him. Yeah. Hundred percent. Yeah. He has a band, Vox United, <laughs> plugging my uncle. Nice. They're a mix of uh, Spanish with like reggae, hip hop. I'll be honest, I've been listening to Pastaducci a lot lately. I mean, I've always known that song, but you know, you you put it in a you know you put it in a mainstream show, and it's funny because I, I I was playing it at my work, and we're doing summer school right now, and I was playing it around when I was driving around, and all the kids looked at me like, I know where that's from. I'm like, no, you don't. You only recently know where it's from. I was like, I was like, the real ones would know it was actually in Scooby Doo when we first were introduced to Shaggy and Scooby when they were in the van, and we thought they were smoking, and they were actually cooking. It was actually in um. The movie from I love watching movies from the 80s and the 90s and the early 2000s. I think we all do. Like you can message me on a good day and I'll be watching those kinds of movies. I uh, like, I'm a I huge John, a, I was a huge John Hughes fan. Still am. I actually you could I got to send you that video. I actually recreated that scene at my football stadium. I think I heard you you mentioned it. It's beautiful. It's one of the most Crowning, crowning achievements of my life. <laughs> I'm telling you, you, if you actually get Movie Club on here, I'm working on it. <laughs> it's a matter of one member, though, if he wants to be on or not. Yeah. Looking at you, just, Aaron. No, it's just inconspicuously just like have his 
his picture. A little shrine. Yeah. And it's just his voice, and it's like, God? I have to say, it is weird to see him with short hair. I like it. It's a vibe. I'm just not, I, it's, I'm not used to it. I, I, I kind of miss the long hair. Sometimes I want to shave my head, but I don't have the head for that. How about you do like the side shave? Oh, I have. I've you done the really side be... and I've done I've done the undercut. You really be punk rock right there. No, I shave the side of my head. How oh, I go? Mm-hmm. I can just shave my head and look like a cholo. <laughs> oh. Well, Betty Boop, it's been real. It has. This is this year. I think every time you come on the podcast, it's just going to get longer and longer. <laughs> Like the first one was about 35 to 40 minutes. This next one was an hour and a half. <laughs> you can probably pick and choose. Oh, this is going wrong. Edit. It's going. <laughs> no. All of it. Including when Lilith cut when Lilith cut me out. Okay, I'll edit that, but like transition, boom. But uh we're gonna we're gonna do a movie club. Uh, we'll do a movie club version pretty soon on Shoot the Shit. Uh, it's just a matter of when I can schedule everyone, and I know Aaron would be pretty open. Well, me and Oigo, like like I've said before, we just have to sit next to each other. I mean, the only thing is the headphone situation because we could both talk into his fancy mic here. Fancy schman. Oh, he's he's he thinks he's Mr. Streamer now, huh? Yep. Just, just wait till he gets his chair. Listen, wait Oingo, no one does streaming better than this guy right here, okay? You got to get on my level when it comes to streaming. You got to dance. You got to make a fool of yourself on camera. But you got to do it to entertain an audience. And he gets his strawberry couch here. It's all over. <laughs> it's coming in tomorrow. Oh, it's coming in tomorrow? Oh, so it's fun building soon. that chair. Oh, he's actually pretty good at building things pretty quickly. Yeah, we'll do a movie club one soon. I don't know what we'll talk about. We'll probably talk about some of our favorite movies, some of our not so favorite like, movies. I feel like we should actually have a, a set, like talking points, or else it's gonna be like all over the place, word vomit for like. Three I can hours. just, I can hear, um, I could just hear, fucking Aaron. Yo, what Hold the up. fuck? What's Oingo doing, man? <laughs> that's a good, that's a good Aaron impression, actually. Was it? I, I, I didn't think it was that good, but. I'm working on it. Where am I holding this? Push it up against the corner. The fuck is he measuring? Uh, he's doing Mexican things. <laughs> you fucking Don't Mexican. Let it go. Don't let it go. Don't I could say go. that because I'm Mexican. So I know yeah. exactly how it's like. I don't, I don't look it, but I am. I promise. I believe it. You speak more Spanish than I do. That's my first language, actually. I never learned it, so por qué no? I need a translation because I don't understand a word you just said. I know enough to get me food and... Duolingo. Uno pastor taco por favor. Is that really how you order? No. Oh my God, it hurt my soul. I Dile uno pastor taco por favor. You gotta work on your accent. Why don't I didn't speak Spanish growing up? No one ever taught me it. So anyway, I'm more from the Spain side of, of things anyway. Espanol. You look at a map of Spain, you're gonna see the the little the little state in there called Zaragoza. I'll probably royalty over there, bro. I haven't even I gotta find out. Be like, yo, last name Zaragoza. Everybody's be like, that's cool. I'm going home. I need my mom to do 23 and me so I can get more information on myself. So I did it for myself. I want Lil to do it, actually. Let's have her spit in a little tube. Oingo, you are not the father. <laughs> she looks oh! Like, she looks a lot like Oingo, actually. I think, I think, uh, I think she looks better than Oingo, but that's just me. Okay, yeah, you're gonna go to sleep right now. Gonna go night night. All right, let's wrap it up so you can you can put Lilith down um, for for night night. 
Come here. Um, well, thank you again for coming on the show. If you guys uh, want to go follow her haunt page, ksf.bettyboop, go check it out on Instagram. I, I, put, it, I put it in the... Yeah, that's why it was easy for me to know, memorize. <laughs> it's right here. It's right there. So go check that out. Um, uh, again, Betty Boop, thanks for coming on the show today again. Uh, just a matter of weeks before after your Milo's Horror Podcast. That was faster than Oingo. So you're just setting right I also here. just asked and be like, so... When are we doing that again? Yeah, she just asked, and I was like, oh, well, let's do it Monday. Boom. And today's Monday. Well, bada bing, bada boom. Two weeks from now, when this comes out, three weeks from now, it's. It would have been Monday. We probably would already. We're probably already going to be. No, we'll be like a week out of seeing Thor, so. Yeah. I look forward to seeing another movie with you very soon. Yeah. And yeah, ladies hopefully and gentlemen. Now, hopefully, it, will, it won't be as disappointing. Oh, it's not going to. It's going to be a Marvel movie. We'll be okay. There's been only one Marvel movie that's disappointed me, and that was Black Widow. That's it. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much for watching another episode of Shoot the Shit. Stay tuned after this podcast. We're going to have a special live performance from Reminisce uh, on the show, so stay tuned. I don't know what song they'll be playing, but I have a variety of songs from the recordings the last time I saw them, so stay tuned for a live performance right live at Chain Reaction. Until then, I'm your host, Anthony, from the Night's Horror. That's Betty Boop. We'll see you guys in the fog. Heck yeah.